let's see how easy it is to get started with Anthropic's Claude 3 Opus model on the Vertex AI model garden. Start by navigating to the model garden console, then find the Claude 3 Opus tile and select it. From here, we can see an overview of the model, relevant use cases, and documentation on how to get up and running quickly. The getting started section shows how to use the model both using the REST interface as well as Anthropics SDK in Python. To enable the model, let's scroll back up to the top and click the Enable button. We will be presented with a trust and safety form to validate our use case against Anthropic's acceptable use policy. Lastly, we will be presented with the list pricing table for this model and accept the terms of service. And that's it. We now have access to use Claude 3 Opus. We will be sent back to the Model Garden console. Note that you may have to refresh the page after a few seconds to verify that the model has been enabled. Once enabled, you should see the Open Notebook button to dive into our sample code. This notebook walks through examples of how to use the Claude 3 models via both the REST interface as well as the SDK. First, we're gonna show usage of the REST interface. Select the Claude 3 Opus model and run the model selection cell. Next, run the region selection cell and select the applicable endpoint. For Opus, we are using US East 5. Next, enter your project ID and then run the project selection cell. Let's make sure we have the proper dependencies installed before we can issue the request. In this example, we are using the curl command to do unary call. We are asking the model to give us a recipe for banana bread. After a few seconds, we can see the response come back with our recipe. For REST, we also have examples of streaming and vision use cases. You can use the REST interface from any language of your choice. Now let's try some examples using the Anthropic SDK. Before you run these examples, make sure to install the required dependencies and restart the notebook runtime before continuing. If you're on a new runtime, you may also have to rerun the model, region, and project selection cells before continuing. In this streaming example, we're asking Opus what the state capitals of New York and California are, along with some additional metadata, and we're asking for the responses in a JSON format. We can see the responses come back in real time, and we see the state, capital, geographical data, and fun facts all included in the response. Lastly, let's cover a vision use case. For this example, we are using a close-up digital photo of an ant. First, let's fetch the image and encode it in Base64. The image is shown underneath the cell. Now let's ask Opus to describe the image in detail. We can see Opus has noticed the type of photograph, lighting, background, and nuances about the end itself. We can't wait to see how you use Opus on Vertex AI.